Hello friends, Kishan is here again. So this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had a, created this project and started coding. So still some of things are pending to be coded. So here let's continue wherever I had left. So we have created DAW package and DAW interface and implemented class both we have dumped into the same package. So I have not do that. So let's create a, another package. Uh, package I would say DAW dot IMPL package and here I'll keep my DAW implementer class. Okay. So now I have a DAW class and service class. So these are the classes just I want to register in a spring configuration file as a spring bin. So let's first register service class. So just expand this one and copy. Just click on the copy qualified name and go to the configuration file. And here this class we can register as a spring bin. So that instantiation will be taken care by the spring framework. So bean has a ID and qualified name of class. So this is the qualified name of class. And ID I'm going to specify as something like bank service. Okay. Now go to this class. And in this class we have a service method. And from service we want to delegate the call to our DAW layer. So DAW layer reference I'm going to declare here. So bank DAW which is type of interface and interface type like relation I have given up here. And I'm going to create a setter and getter for this reference variable. So set and get bank DAW. And calling this getter method from this within this method and making call to the uh, withdraw and deposit method which is available on our DAW layer class. So first I'm going to call withdraw and then deposit method from our service layer. Okay, now we have introduced one of the variable reference variable in my uh, service class. So this I, I will have to inject and we have uh, this reference variable a corresponding setter method. So we are going to basically apply the setter based dependency injection. If you do not know what is setter based dependency injection then please go and watch my previous video tutorial. There I have explained what is setter based dependency injection. So to perform setter based dependency injection we have a property and name equal to name of property will have to specify. And this is a custom data type, so a reference equal to bank DOM. So, of course, you need to define another bin, and ID of that bin you will have to specify as a bank DOM. And here you are going to configure your bank DOM service, uh, bank DOM IMPL as a, uh, a spring bin. So, let's configure this guy as a a spring bin so that a spring will take care about its instantiation and all okay so i hope this service layer is very neat and clean and you can understand very well so what is i have done in this now here in dog class basically to write a dog class there are many approach we have and all approach I had explained in my previous video tutorial. So here basically I am going to declare one of the template class in a Spring with, J Spring with JDBC module. And that template class is called JDBC template. So JDBC. So I am not getting JDBC template right. Why did you guess? Because I did not add my spring related jars in our class path so let's go ahead and create a user defined library so go to the build path 
right click on the project go to the build path configure build path select libraries now add library select user library next user libraries and here click on the new button give the library name as spring leaf and here i'm going to add my all required jars so this is my distribution file which earlier i have downloaded and extracted in my local machine so here in this demo if you want you can include all jars all spring jars but it's not required to add all jars because we know that spring has several models and whatever models we are using in our projects so related to those models we have to add jars so here in this demo basically we are not using any kind of eob related or spec related features so of course we are going to use core spring related models so beans uh, spring beans we need to add then context model of course we need to add context support release as well core spring spring core spring expression so these are the one two three four five five jars uh, which is required for your core spring container so these five jars i'm going to add apart from that we are going to use uh, spring with jdbc model so let's add this jar as well and to manage transaction we have to add a spring underscore a spring hyphen tx jar right so this is basically to manage a transaction in a spring framework so let's add these jars apart from these jars a spring has also dependency on the external jar that is common loggers right so let's add those jars as well so we have a common loggers so these jars also we have to add now we are going to create java application and my java application will talk with the database so and here we are going to use mysql as the database so mysql provides a jar file uh, to connect your java application with the uh, mysql uh, database so that jars also we need to add this jars is basically vendor dependent if your my database is going to change then uh, your this jar is going to change for oracle there may be some other jar uh, for mysql we have a uh, mysql connector jar so select this jar size so i think we have ordered added all required jars in our class path and click on the ok finish and ok so these are the required jars we have added in our class path so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 jars we have added now here you can search for the jdbc template J JD DC template JDBC template and let's create a setter getter for this JDBC template setter and getter of JDBC template as we have introduced new reference variables so while configuring this bean as a, uh, a spring bean configuration file we need to inject this property as well so here we have declared jdbc template and uh, we have created setter method for this property so of course we are going to use uh, setter based dependency injection here so ref equal to jdbc template now you need to configure a bean and that is nothing but the jdbc templates so bean id equal to jdbc template and you need to specify the qualified name of this bean so press ctrl shift t and search for the jdbc template so this is the jdbc template i can see the source code because i have installed decompiler in my clips so click on the this arrow button so this will be expanded and copy qualified name of jdbc 
go to your doll here sorry your configuration file and here I've configured this JDBC template requires demands you to supply if you go to the source code and here you can see constructor of JDBC template is asking you to supply the uh, data source right so here you can apply the constructor based dependency injection so to uh, apply constructor based dependency injection we have a tag is called constructor arc and name equal to we will have to specify the name of the property data source and ref equal to data source so again you need to specify you need to declare a spring bin uh, it's called data source so ID I'm going to specify data source and as we are going to integrate JDBC with spring so so spring provides a data source class is called uh, driver manager data source class so press control shift T and search for the driver manager data source so this is the class so let's copy a qualified name of this class and go to the configuration file and here we can declare this class like this I think I have already written this code I don't want to write this stuff again and again so just i'm copying from there so i've copied data source and this driver manager data source asking you to supply the driver class name user a database url username and password and these are the things basically we are going to retrieve from the properties file so this is the way to retrieve the values from the properties file which is in and this properties file is available in our uh, source src folder right src directory now now a spring cannot directly detect where from where these values are coming right so if you want these values to be replaced with the actual values so in database properties file every key has a some value right so from this key we are able to retrieve these values over here right so if you look into the key, key like here we are db dot driver class name so db dot sorry uh, db dot driver class this is the key right now to work this properly we need to configure a bean and that bin class is called property placeholder configurer so press control shift t and search for the property placeholder configurer so this is the spring provided bins so let's copy qualified name of this bin and go to the configuration file and declare this bin. Now this bin has a one of the property that we'll have to configure. Property name equal to location and value you need to provide name of the property file which is available in our src folder. So this is the property we have specified. If you keep this property file somewhere else, then you need to specify the relative path of this file. So that's all I have in this video tutorial. So in next video tutorial, I'm going to cover the rest of the things. So please be with me. Uh, thanks for watching my video.